Hey you guys, happy Monday. It's Tess here live with Facebook and um, back again to share some more social media tips and um, just kind of encouraging you with your social media marketing, all you business owners out there. So my name is Tess. I service the San Francisco Bay Area, um, but I'm I'm available across the country so I um, would love to work with you or work with your company if you're looking to increase your exposure um, on Facebook LinkedIn Google Plus want to know how to get in front of more people who can use your services I'm your girl um, but today I wanted to kind of talk about your social checklist so a lot of different um, social media platforms are popping up and um, it's been really fun to kind of see all the different ones, but um, we're going to talk about some ways to take advantage of the popular platforms, um, some things to make sure that you have on those platforms, and then also um, how to gain more exposure on, on popular platforms. So one thing when you're thinking about social media, before you go any further or right when you get home today, the first thing you should check out is... Um, look at your handles. You want to make sure that all your social medias are consistent so that your Twitter is the same as your LinkedIn, is the same as your Facebook, is the same as your Instagram. You want to make sure that the same name, business name, or your name are consistent across the way. You can't be, you know, three different things on three different medias. It makes it really hard for people to find you. They're like, I think this is the same person, but they're not quite sure. You want to make it really easy to match up. So if you're not consistent on all the platforms, make sure that that's the first thing you fix uh, with your social media and um, that's something I had to work on too you know my Twitter was something different than my Instagram which was something different than my Facebook but now having them all streamlined and the same makes a huge difference so make sure your username or your handle is the same on all of the Facebook platforms um, something else that is really really important is don't feel like you have to be on all the platforms don't feel like oh everyone says I need to be on Twitter so you have to be on Twitter or you have to be on Instagram be on the platforms that you're most comfortable with. I say first master one platform, then when you feel comfortable, go to the second platform. But don't just open up accounts across Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and then you're not servicing all. You need to have a consistent plan for the ones that you are using. And so really take a look at which where which platforms do you think are most important to your company. And that's something that I can help, you know, you decide or walk you through or give ask you some questions to see which platforms you need to be on. Um, but for the most part, definitely since there's 1.5 billion people on Facebook, I would definitely start there. Um, and then look into um, LinkedIn depending on um, your industry the industry you're in. A, Definitely be on Google+. Plus. There's a lot of um, talk about Google+. Plus. Is it a good platform? Is it a bad platform? We can have that conversation offline. Uh, but I definitely would say that platform. And then, of course, you know the other popular ones. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. I would only go to those three if you're confident with your skills on the first three I mentioned. So don't just go out and have platforms across the board. You want to make sure that you are representing your brand great on the first platforms and be solid with that marketing before you start adding on the other ones. Um, make sure you have a profile picture. I'm still finding people who don't have profile pictures. I'm like, I don't even want to be your friend if you don't have a profile because I'm not sure it's you. That's the most simple step. Put a profile picture up, um, especially on LinkedIn, especially on Facebook. Make sure it's just you. I like it when it's just you the smile smiley face and you don't have any other person in the in the picture so I'm not wondering okay who is this which one is the business owner make sure you have pictures a professional picture up there and make sure you have it on your cover photo too this is a huge thing I see people aren't putting their cover photo background especially on LinkedIn and on Facebook make sure you utilize those how often should you be changing your cover photo so the cover photo is that long skinny photo like this big behind your profile picture on your business page and on your personal page you need to make sure you have a cover photo up you need to be changing that cover photo personally I don't love changing my cover photo I kind of like having the same one there's gonna be different views on this but when you're putting together your plan for your social media you want to say okay I'm going to commit to changing my cover photo every six months or every four months with the seasons. I think a good rule is to change it with the seasons. Um, or if you want to change it every month, that's fine. But just make sure it's in your plan so you're so you're remembering to change it. 
Um, so we covered a couple of very, very basic things for social media to, to help you get started. Um, some of you guys might be thinking this is very, very elementary. Some of you guys might have been blown away with the information I just gave you. Um, either way, just something to think about and pass on. You want to look at your consistency across all the platforms. Make sure that there's a prof profile picture and a cover profile picture, cover photo. Um, also, Speaking of making a plan for your social media, what are you planning on posting? Just like you have a business plan or a fitness plan or a meal plan, you also need to have a marketing plan. So what do you post, what do you talk, what day of the week do you highlight a product of the week? Do you have a plan for that? Or are you just kind of throwing it out there as you feel like, oh, I haven't promoted anything in a while, I'll pick a product and promote it. This should not be a fly by the seat of your plants pants plan. You should have a plan. So every Monday I'm going to talk about the history of our business and you know what got us here. And you're not giving a whole long blog, just a little tidbit every Monday, a little tidbit about something different that's impacted the business. Um, I love when people post about the organizations that they're giving back to. What charities or what organizations do you belong to? That's something that you can post about every Tuesday. Every Tuesday talk about a charity. And it can be the same charity every Tuesday. There's there's no problem with that. Have a plan for your social media. Um, so every Monday you're talking about the same thing. Every Tuesday you're talking about the same thing. Every Wednesday you can post a motivational quote. Have it be consistent and have it go with your brand. It shouldn't be motivated Monday one week and then the next week, oh, hopefully, you know, motivated Wednesday. It needs to all be on the same day planned out. And the, and the coolest part about this too is so it's so when you sit down at your computer to post for that day, if you don't schedule out your post, which I highly, highly suggest, I'll get to that in a second, but let's say you don't schedule out your post, you just do them every day, um, three o'clock is a great time to post. You shouldn't be sitting down at your computer thinking, okay, what do I want to post today? You should be sitting at your, down at your computer looking at your plan and saying, okay, today is whatever day it is. This is the day and already knowing, okay, this is the topic I'm going to post about because you have that on your plan. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you a lot of brain power. It's going to help the posting process be a lot less stressful if you have a plan for your post. Um, so especially reviews, testimonies, those should all be going out on the same day. There's tons and tons and tons of amazing products or uh topics to post about. So definitely write down a couple that you want and then we can create a plan that you cover each topic on the day you know when. And this will save you a ton of time and hassle. You also want to um, schedule your posts. So you can only schedule out your posts on your Facebook business page unless you have a third party like Hootsuite or Buffer. Um, but I say just go right to Facebook and then instead of hitting publish, it's just that tiny little down arrow next to publish, you can hit schedule and that's how you schedule your posts. So powerful. So let's say you sit down for one hour on Sunday, make your posts for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you don't have to do it for the rest of the week. And those automatically get posted. So that one hour at the beginning of the week, that can save you so much time and hassle throughout the week. So my challenge for you is to try it. Today's Monday. It's a great day. Sit down before you go to sleep tonight and schedule out your post on your Facebook business page for the rest of the week. You're going to be so happy you did. It's such a nice no feeling knowing that you don't have to worry about those posts and they're just automatically going to go up when you want them to. So try that out. It's very powerful. That's kind of how I got started and realizing the power of it and how great it made me feel. I'm like, I have to tell other people about this. This is amazing. Um, so every day has a specific topic that's hopefully been scheduled out. If not, you'll know uh, what to post. A great time to post on Facebook, um, Facebook specifically, is 3 o'clock. So 3 p.m. is a great time to post. It's 2.40 right now. Um, but I think 3 p.m. is kind of that, like siesta time when people start getting bored at work or they're sitting in the um, line to pick up their kids from school. So 3 o'clock is a really, really great time to post on Facebook, especially on Thursdays and Fridays. Really great. I've also personally experienced like that like 6, 7 o'clock time is also a really great time. And then 9 o'clock. For some reason, I don't know who is on Facebook at nine o'clock, but that's also a time where I get a lot of activity and engagement. So three, six, or nine are really great times to post on Facebook. Um, LinkedIn, a great time to post on LinkedIn is like from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, so right before business hours, and then five to eight o'clock at night, right after business hours. So those are really great times to have your posts scheduled out to go on LinkedIn. Um, so. I'm going to sign off for now. I just wanted to share some tidbits with you and kind of get your, um, you know, 
wanted to add to your social media strategy and encourage you to keep posting, keep doing it. And if you think, oh, social media is not for me, keep trying. It's definitely a long-term commitment, but it is it will pay off. And it's a lot less expensive than a lot of other types of marketing for your business. So um, put in the man hours. It definitely comes back. It's a great, great source to expand your brand and increase um, the exposure for your business. And it's really fun too when someone's um can just message you and say hey i'm interested in your product can you give me some prices you're like yes it finally paid off you know so that does happen and it's a really really great reward when that happens and you'll be happy you did so thanks for tuning in um again my name's tess you can ask any questions in the comments below and i'll answer them on my next facebook live um which will be tomorrow and i hope you guys have a great evening thanks guys